What's up YouTube, it's Jacob, and today I want to talk about suicide. Oh yeah, no, right? I just finished watching 13 Reasons Why, and I cried twice. Once when they found her dead, and the second time, I, I won't say because I don't want to do a spoiler for anybody. Um, but I cried twice, so I feel accomplished. Like, there were some times I held some back, right? So I was like, I, I didn't even cry. Uh, but a good show. I, I'd say it'd be good to watch it. Like, I, was, I don't have like rave reviews of it, but I thought it was a good show. I mean, it, I, one of the things I loved about it was that it, it brought up the topic of suicide, which is a really, really heavy topic. Um, and I think, I was thinking about it, and because it's so taboo, maybe that makes it hard for people who are thinking of committing suicide to talk about it. Um, and to be honest, I think it's more common of a thought than we think. Like, I don't think, I don't think anybody would guess but I've thought about it. And man, that's out there now. Uh, I did think about it. It was my freshman year of college. It wasn't going so great. Not college, but life. And or maybe it was, maybe it was, but my mind, my mind was just not feeling it. And, and so like, you can't tell somebody that their struggle isn't that great. Like they don't have a big struggle. You can't tell someone that even if you've been there you're not them and you don't know how it affects them and how they're able to handle it or not able to handle it. So don't judge, okay? Don't don't belittle someone's struggle just because you don't think it's a struggle or that big of a struggle. But anyways, I thought about it and and I didn't do it. Uh, and one of the things, like the, the thing that kept me from like even entertaining that thought any longer was me thinking about my family, my mom, my dad, and <laughs> my brothers and my sister, and um, man, I love them, and, and and I know that they love me, and I'm sorry, I'm getting a little emotional, but it's a heavy topic. Um, but anyways, I thought about them, and, and I was like, no, I can't do that. Like, that would hurt them, and, uh, so I, I didn't do it. Um, I will say, uh, that I don't think any of you should do it, right? But, okay, so one of the, one of the reasons I even wanted to bring this up is, again, because it's such a taboo topic, it gets hard for people to talk about it. And I remember, I remember I told my mom, cause she was just mad at me. And then like in the middle of her being, being mad at me, right? Cause you never know what's going through someone's mind and she had no idea that that was going through my mind. So I'll let her know. And you know, when you put things in like a, a life or death situation, like you put them in that perspective, like so many things don't mean anything anymore. And we were, we were fighting about like some of my life decisions, like college and work and stuff like that. And it was just like, I, I remember telling her and it just didn't matter anymore. <laughs> She was like, I love you. You don't do that. So that, that was that. And uh, son of a biscuit wasn't going to cry. I was not going to cry. <sighs> but I did. Obviously. So anyways. um, I didn't do it because I have people I loved. And, and, and I, I talked. To someone I loved about it, and and I, and then I just like it was not an option for me anymore. But maybe some of you out there are having like these thoughts. Maybe you have before. Maybe you will in the future. I hope you don't. Um, but in any of those cases, like I would highly suggest that you talk to somebody that you love about it, or someone you trust, or anyone just talk to somebody about it. 
and um, hopefully me um, sharing my experience with that a little bit and maybe uh, maybe that'll help you uh, get through something um, maybe maybe I don't know I don't know gosh where is this paper I gotta I mean, I'm good now. I'm just dealing with like the after effects of like the little cry session I just had. <clears throat> Anyways, so you don't have to do it. If anybody needs to talk, I'm here. Um, and I, if any of my students are watching, I'm in room 260, Monday through Friday, except for this next week because I got Monday off. Woo -woo. So I'll be there Tuesday through Friday. And then I'll be there till school ends because it's my job. Um, but and then for anyone else, slide in my DMs if you need to, if you need to contact me and talk about some things, or if you just want to hang out. Like, I'm really cool about sliding in DMs. Like, I, I won't make it awkward. I promise. I'm not saying do it like to try to hook up with me. Although if you did, I guess I wouldn't make it weird either. I'm really just not looking for that right now. And now we're kind of off topic. But anyways, um, maybe if we made suicide less of a taboo topic, it'd be easier for people to open up about their thoughts and to talk to somebody about it. So, I don't know, this is like a, this is like a, this is some real spill. What if? If, like, if any of you watching have ever had thoughts, maybe you just, like, leave that in the comments and, like, let people know that they're not alone. Or maybe make your own video telling us about your your experience with that. And uh, maybe that will make it easier for people to talk about. Or maybe not, you know, maybe just, maybe just talk about me behind my back. And be like, Jacob made that video. That was weird. He should have kept that to himself. Well, no, they didn't. And I, I think... I hope that it helps somebody. So anyways, thanks for watching YouTube. I'm sorry it was kind of awkward. Um, I promise it won't be like this all the time. But uh, until next time.